see everyone. Happy New Year, happy year, happy video, happy banana. Whenever you're watching this video, it's fine. I thought I'll start this new video of this new year with maybe some tutorials helping you out with perspective again. I hope you will like that. Let's jump into it. All right, let's say you drew this car. You like it, it's, it's relatively okay, but something is bugging you, something is off, but you can't put your finger on what's wrong. Well, well, in this video, I want to help you in figuring out what might be wrong. So let's go all the way back to perspective basics, where we have a horizon line and we have two vanishing points. And I'm going to stick to a two point perspective just to think, uh, to keep things a little bit simpler. So. If we build a box in this setup, so from one vanishing point, we draw a line connected to the other one, and then this is going to be the edge of our box, and then the edges we connect back to the vanishing points here and here, and then we define this is one side of our box. Again, we connect the edges to the vanishing points, and this is the other side of the box and connect back as well. Now, the simplest thing which we learn in perspective is that as we move closer to the vanishing point, everything becomes a bit smaller. So this dimension or this distance here between these two points, as I push it towards the vanishing point, as you can see here, it's much smaller than what I drew there initially. And of course, this goes the other way as well. So this dimension, if I keep pushing it this way, it becomes smaller and smaller, as you can see there. Uh, not just that direction, but also this direction here. If I would keep on pushing it, like here, it's already smaller. If I keep on pushing it, let's say from this point, let me just erase this part. As you can see, if I would bring this here, quite a bit smaller. And again, it works this way as well. If I keep on pushing this, it will become smaller and smaller. Of course, we would have to adjust it so it tilts in the direction. Here it's still almost the same, but if I would zoom in, you can see that it overshoots a bit. All right, why am I doing this? This is basic, we know this exactly, but this is also easy and a good way to check things. So if I would draw a human head looking from above, this here, as we're looking, if this is our screen, right? Uh, if you would have this screen, we will make the eye level sort of like this. This box is somewhat that direction. Now, if we look at the distance, it is sort of the opposite of what we talked about. Whatever is closest to this eye line is the bigger dimension. So if I switch to red color, this red color is going to be closer or bigger. So this dimension is always bigger because it's closer to our eyes or camera, as we would want to say. So if I construct another box quickly and I outlined it with blue, just so there is no confusion, we are going to have now another box that is somewhere here, maybe a little bit smaller than the previous one, but we have the same things. So this edge here is much closer to the eye of the viewer or camera than the other. So if I go back to my red, once again, this edge, this one right here is going to be the biggest dimension. Oh. And then as I start pushing this edge either way towards the vanishing point away from the viewer, it is going to become smaller and smaller and smaller and I can take one of here and just bring it back here so you can see how much smaller that is. And that works both ways and it works here as well. If we keep on, like if I connect these two and I bring this line back here, you can see that even if we zoom in and I transform it and rotate it, it is not going to go all the way to the edge. Now, why are we talking about this? Because if we have a cube in this case, it's a sort of a bad cube, as I called it in my layers, we can easily fix this. So I'm gonna bring the opacity of the bad cube just a little bit down and we're gonna draw these 
three main edges that I talked before as well. There we go. These three, it's fine. It's, if it's a little wobbly, don't you worry about it. And now what we have to do, I'm just going to draw a new layer, go to my blue. I'm going to take this edge here and push it towards the two vanishing points this way, right? And then also this way. So if we push it first to the right, I know, okay, so it's going to be somewhere here and it has to be shorter. So I'm going to say up until this point, then that is my line there. Now I can connect and I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, I'm going to take this blue edge that I have here, this dimension, push it back here. And I know, oh, okay, I want it a little bit shorter than this. So I stop there. So this is if you are not using the vanishing points because it is, of course, off the screen. So this is more like a control method for yourself. And we can do the same thing. So I am going to take this and make a blue line and I'm going to push it this direction. Now, I know that if we look, let me let me just take a control point here. This is the correct dimension here. But if I come here, I will have to rotate it just a little bit because of course it can't be parallel because we're not working orthogonally, we're working uh, in perspective. So this is my blue line. Now if I turn that into a red line, I just follow it and I will make it a little bit shorter. And with this we sort of solved our blue line for the other edge because if I now draw this blue dimension or blue line here and bring it here. Look at this. It's already a little bit shorter. And what we can do, because we do not want to keep the same angle, we just want to make the angle just a little bit sharper. So I'm just going to rotate it just a little bit there. And now I can come here, take my red again and just connect it there. Now I can take away my blue dimension. And if I move the cube here, you can see already that this is correct. So I know this is very basic, but when you draw this kind of boxes, what you have to check is that this distance one is always bigger than this distance one, let's call it A, and always bigger than this distance one B. And then if I switch colors into a blue, same thing. This distance two has to be always bigger than this distance two, let's call it A. And then let's choose a green color because why not? We have this distance three always bigger than this distance three A. And this is an easy check if you're sticking in a two-point perspective, so 2PP. If you move to a three-point perspective, then of course we're going to have a third vanishing point and our cube is going to move this way. So we are going to have the distance 2 is going to have a distance 2B that it has to be bigger than this distance two from here. And we also had this dimension three is going to have to be bigger than dimension three B. So it's becoming just a little bit more complicated, but it is easy to check if you do this. We did this cube because now we are going to move on to not our spaceship, but our car. And if I look at my car. What I like to do always, I always tell you to think in boxes because this car I'm imagining as one box for uh, the windshield or, or the, I think they call it greenhouse area, the car people, right? And then you have a box for the hood which you can draw together with the rest of the car. Now, the hood might be a little bit slanted, which is not a problem because if we know how to check for a box, if it's in perspective, like with these distances, what you can do, you can easily cut part of it away 
and then check for the same thing here as well. So because now I know even if it is a slanted sort of surface, I know that I'm just going to take this here and I have to move that way. And as soon as, as, as it's, as long as it's bigger than the distance in the back or the dimension in the back, we're all good. And that's exactly what we're going to do here with our cars. So I'm just gonna bring the opacity a little bit down, switch to my red color and take a look at this. So if we take this, oh, wrong layer. If this is our little rectangular box here on the top, you can see that if I, or when I turn off the car now, look at that, it is a little bit off, something is not right. And the thing that is not right is again our distance one here, or dimension one, this. If I push this to the back, the back distance here is bigger and it's not allowed to be bigger. So it's a very quick check for you. You can see that, oh, I messed up here. Uh, what I am going to do is take this line as my main line. So I'm going to say, I take this distance one, it comes until there. And then here I just chop a little bit off of it and connect it back there. And then the rest I just erase. And here the rest can stay like it is, something like that. Now, if I take my red again, see, this is what I meant with, you can sculpt it a little bit because now this hood is a little bit slanted. So we have sort of a slanted surface. But that's not really a problem. We can also just cut it into pieces again. But before we do that, Take a look at this. Something is wrong here. Uh, since I switched colors, I'm gonna do it with, uh, well, actually, let me do this. There, I corrected the color because the red is our teaching color. So this is our distance that we're checking with, or dimension, push it back here. Again, it is shorter than the dimension here. It's not allowed to. So checking my car, I don't want to redraw everything I did there already, so I'm going to redraw the front. So this is my dimension that it has to be a bit shorter then. So I'm going to say from here to here. This is the new dimension. And then from here, I will have to erase this and probably redraw it a little bit. Uh, what I can do quickly now is take my red again, take this dimension, push it all the way here. I will know that it has to be a little bit like something like there. I'm just gonna push it a little bit further away, back to black, take that away. So this would be in perspective. There we go. That is sort of correct. Here we have a triangle again. We just bring this down here. One thing, because we're working in a two point perspective, I know that all these lines technically should be exactly parallel. So you can easily check yourself in this case with a door because all your other lines technically should be parallel with your doors. So if I connect these together like this, now if I move this line away from the car, you can see that the proportions here already work much better than here. So once again, easy check for you for these kind of drawings to do is take a distance or a dimension and push it back. See, does it, does the dimension here fit here or does it not? If it's not, then you know that you have to reverse it. It is, that is why we did the cube because we know that the, or the front of the cube always bigger than the back of the cube. So easy check, keep a little cube in your head or actually draw it out on paper if you think that will help you and uh, check like that.
And that was it for this first video of the year or just for this random video if you're watching at any other time. I hope you learned something. I know this was a bit more basic but I still see a lot of people making these mistakes so I do hope that uh, this video helps those people at least. And if you have any other questions as always I always love answering or trying to help you so leave your question in the comment section down below. If you really like what I'm doing here and feel like you would like to support me, take a look at the Patreon and other links in the description box. But as always, the most important thing is that you folks have a great time. Keep on sketching and till the next video. Bye bye.